Let's illuminate the screen with a lit candle and put a non-transparent plate with a small hole between the candle and the screen. On the screen, we see a dim image of the candle turned upside down. If you move away the candle, the image becomes smaller. If you move away the screen, the image becomes larger but faded. Such observations were made by people in ancient times. An Arab scholar, Ibn al-Haytham, in his book Treasures of Optics, explained how to get an inverted image. A straight beam of light from the lower point of the object falls onto the upper part of the screen, while the beam from the upper point lights the lower part of the screen, so the image turns upside down. Renaissance artists use this method to do sketches from nature. To see the dim image of the object more clearly, a hole was made in a wall of a dark room, which in Latin is called camera obscura. We made a portable camera obscura out of two cardboard boxes. A small hole is made in one box and the second box with a screen is inserted into it so that you can change the distance from the hole to the screen. We view the resulting picture on the screen through another hole. In order for you to see this image, we will shoot it with a camera with an exposure of a few seconds. Despite the long exposure time, the photo turned out to be very dark. To make more light fall onto the screen, we will increase the diameter of the hole two times. At the same exposure time, the image becomes brighter, but its sharpness drops noticeably. The fact is that from each point of the object, a light beam passes through the hole, which produces not a point, but a spot on the screen. Spots from different points of the object overlap, and the image is blurred. The larger the hole diameter, the larger the spot size, and the lower the image sharpness. To demonstrate the effect of blurring, we made not one, but two holes in the front wall of the camera obscura. Let's put an incandescent lamp in the view scope. We can see not one, but two lamps. Now let's turn on the searchlight, which we usually use when shooting. Each hole produces a separate image of the searchlight on the screen. Here is a street photo taken with such a camera. The image doubled, as if we had captured it twice in one frame, turning the camera slightly sideways. A camera obscura with a small pinhole used in artistic photography is called stenopee camera or pinhole camera. This camera provides a wide-angle image with a very large depth of field. Shooting with such a camera is carried out with a very long exposure, so only fixed objects produce a sharp image and the overall picture is very unusual.